This is Job 8, verse 20. Behold, Yahweh will not cast away a perfect man, neither will he help the evildoers, till he fill thy mouth with laughing and thy lips with rejoicing. They that hate thee shall be clothed with shame, and the dwelling place of the wicked shall come to naught. I like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Yeshim, Yahweh Shai by Yeshim. Rakahakwadash, double honors to the, to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect. This is the brother Bakwasha. And I'm just going to play one quick segment here of the uh, dwelling place of the wicked coming to naught. You know, the economic downfall of this wicked society known as America. And really how these things were prophesied uh, to happen. And we are now in the midst of those things happening and uh, it's glorious and uh, we are rejoicing through the spirit because we are seeing the downfall of our enemies. We're seeing the downfall of wickedness, the downfall of abominations. And so, um, you know, as the scriptures say, man, just be patient in the Lord, you know, because he is, he is working a work um, in, a, in our day, you know, that that only we can believe. You know, and we're seeing it. And uh, as I said, you know, it's glorious. So I'm gonna read this verse again and bring out a couple of scriptures and uh, play a little bit of this segment. And Lord willing, uh, it will be edifying for the elect. This is Job chapter eight, verse 22. It says, they that hate thee shall be clothed with shame. You know, and that's what's coming here to Babylon, a.k.a. America. Shame and knowing that it's being imploded. You know, that Yahweh by Shemi Abishai is destroying the wicked. It says, and the dwelling place of the wicked shall come to naught. All right. Let's bring out one more quick verse. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 21. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretch that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. And so what you're going to hear is Chris Hedges. Uh, the guy to the right of the screen, uh, he uh, has been doing uh, basically foreign exchange and uh, in on the global scale, uh, being able to understand uh, the economy. And really what he's going to mention here is how America is no different from any other uh, kingdom or empire. And it hasn't learned its lesson. And, you know, all of this is written in accordance with prophecy uh, that, you know, that fourth kingdom you know, uh, basically the revised Roman Empire. OK, America in itself uh, is going to be destroyed, you know. And so uh, he's going to go into uh, just a couple of examples of the decline uh, economically, the, the infrastructure, uh, the uh, the moral decay of the people and, uh, you know, really how, uh, you know, jobs in itself, you know, and, and, and the, the, the power has been centralized, you know, into this, quote unquote, global elite. And uh, they are really the, the proponents that are causing the implosion. But, you know, Yahweh by Shimei Shah is really doing all of these things to uh, ultimately, you know, uh, fulfill prophecy. So uh, we'll play this quick segment and Lord willing, it'll be edifying for the elect. Called America, the farewell tour. So on behalf of an excited group of radio and TV audience, thank you very much, Chris, for joining us today. Thanks, Rick. All right, I'm going to jump right in. Um, is the American empire or is the American century or however you want to call it, is it now in decline? Is there something happening or some set of things that are happening that qualify for such a phrase to be used? And if you think so, what are the signs that say that to you? Well, there are physical manifestations of the decline of empire all around us. Uh, and we are dying in the same way that empires throughout history have died. Uh, the assault against urban centers. That's actually a characteristic of dying empires, the uh, decrepit infrastructure, the abandonment of whole sectors of the population, the hollowing out of institutions that are unable to deal with the stresses uh, that are put on a country. Um, so the foundations 
uh, rot away. The facade remains. And I think the pandemic, uh, of course, is one of those stresses uh, we've lost or because of this for-profit healthcare system, because of the ineptitude of the Trump White House. But I think we have to go back for uh, you know decades. The uh, kind of assault on the, on the healthcare system is hardly uh, tied exclusively to the Republicans. Uh, an estimated 300,000 Americans uh, will be dead by December, possibly 400,000 by uh, January. Uh, real unemployment, as you know better than most, is not at 10 or 11 percent, uh, but because of the way they fix the numbers, uh, upwards to um, uh, perhaps 20 percent. Uh, ever since 2008, uh, there's been assault on uh, the incomes of uh, American households. The average uh, middle class family's net worth is uh, uh, more than 40,000 below what it was before the crash of 2007, 2008. And of course, people of color suffer worse. Black families are down 40 percent, Latino families 46 percent. And now we're watching as the unemployment benefits, uh, the uh, supplemental unemployment benefits are withdrawn, the moratoriums on uh, evictions and foreclosures, and uh, a real uh, uh, ruthless and uh, assault against uh, uh, American uh, families. I mean, before this pandemic, four million people were being evicted a year. We, before the pandemic, one in four tenant households spent half of its pre-tax income on rent. Before the pandemic, we had some 2,000 unhoused people sleeping in their cars, uh, sleeping uh, on, you know, on bridges, on city streets. Uh, 27 million people are expected now to lose their health insurance. And just to close, the, the capitalists have reacted. They know what's coming. Banks are not lending, uh, but like my bank, Wells Fargo, I know I shouldn't be at Wells Fargo, is uh, just a complete uh, moratorium on any kinds of loans at, because they need to stockpile reserves of cash for the wave of bankruptcies and defaults on mortgages and student loans and uh, car loans and personal loans and credit card debt uh, that they know uh, is coming. So uh, we're headed for a social and political dislocation within weeks, if not months, uh, that we haven't seen since uh, the Great Depression. All of that are symptomatic of an empire in deep distress, unable to deal uh, with any kind of stress uh, that, that's put on a, a system that's been uh, essentially pillaged by a, a global capitalist elite that you have been one of the most prominent voices in pointing out. Yeah, so he said a lot there, you know, and, and ultimately, Yahweh by Shimei Shai is bringing the dwelling place of the wicked to naught. You know, and uh, all of these scenarios are ongoing because America in itself is losing its power. And as the scripture says, the Lord is going to put out, you know, the light of the wicked, you know. Um, so so let's read this real quick. This is First Corinthians chapter one, uh, verse twenty five. It says, because the foolishness of Yahweh is wiser than men and the weakness of Yahweh is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but Yahweh hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and Yahweh hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, okay? And base things of the world and things which are despised, Yahweh hath chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to not things that are, you know, and that's that's the spirit, the wisdom, the power of Yahweh Shai, which is in the hopeful elect. He's bringing those things that were once not, you know, available. The you know the 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 seals were not loose. You know, now we have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are. You know that that power in which you know we walk in in, in a confidence. And faith of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, that in itself is bringing to not the things that are this system, this structure, you know, Esau, the so-called white man, revealing him for who he really is. OK, this is first Corinthians chapter two, verse. Verse five, actually, let's start at four. It says, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, you know, because that spirit that we have, that we possess of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is the ultimate power. OK, so what it's doing is it's bringing the society in itself to ruins. 
You know, by us just knowing who we are and calling on the names of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, walking in faith and demonstration of the power in which Yahweh by Shimei Shai has given us, that in itself is weakening this system of Babylon, aka America, and bringing it to naught. It says, verse 5, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahweh. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught. Okay, so the wisdom in which we're speaking, it's not of this world, you know, and, and, and the princes of this world. The reason why it's confounding them is because Yahweh by Shimei and I'm going to go back to that verse. This is 1 Corinthians 1 and 27. It says, but Yahweh hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. People despise the Bible. People look down on the, the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei People look down on the hope for the elect. People look down on the creation, creation in itself. It says, but Yahweh hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And Yahweh hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things of which are mighty, you know, in comparison to this, this Babylon, this Babylonian structure, you know, this beast system, we don't have a physical sword. We don't have a physical power. Okay. But our belief, our confidence, our faith in Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, as scripture says, and Yahweh hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. People don't necessarily believe in faith. People are like, oh, man, you believe in all that, you know, all that, whatever, you know, describe it however you want to. But the point is that faith in which Yahweh by Shimei Awashai has given us, which is a gift from Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, is confounding the mighty and is bringing Babylon to naught. OK, so um, I'm going to play this one more time just because, you know, he said a lot in there, but I want, you know, to just make for sure that we get all of the information here because it is showing the decline of America. It is showing that prophecy is being fulfilled. And it's also showing that this kingdom wasn't set up to be an everlasting kingdom. Okay. And we're entering into that everlasting kingdom, which is the return of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai and destroying Babylon, AKA America. Okay. Um, Let's, mm, yeah, let, let's, let's read this first and then we'll play the clip again. This is Revelation chapter 18, verse 16. It says, it's a lot. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's read verse 14. Yep, it says, Revelation 18 and 14. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee and thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment weeping and wailing all the rest of these other nations that actually live deliciously off America, AKA Babylon, they're going to watch it burn with fire. All right. Verse 16. And alas, Salaki, it says in saying, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught. And that's exactly what's going to happen. OK, everything that the propaganda of America, you know, it's military power. It's, you know, uh, economic, you know, a power of, of the dollar. It's global kind of stronghold on society. Yeah, how Shimei Yahusha is going to bring all of that to naught in one hour, man. And these are just the beginning signs of, uh, of uh, Babylon falling. Things are going to expedite very quickly. OK, just as he had talked about with the pandemic, you know, all of this is to cause more and more division, 
more and more strife, more and more anguish, more and more conflict. OK. And ultimately, it's going to uh, culminate into Jacob's trouble. OK. And then from there, hey, salvation is around the corner. OK. Because through the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, that is the hour of temptation. That is that is the, the, the pinnacle. OK. Or one of the pinnacles of prophecy being fulfilled. And on the other side of that, Lord will is salvation for the hopefully let. OK. Verse uh, eight. 17 it says for in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company in ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning saying what city is like unto this great city because america in itself is a global superpower but it's on its decline and other nations are rising up you know, that's why it says uh, in Isaiah, the 14th chapter, you know, have thou have thou become weak as as we, you know, because no one is is uh, amused or charmed by America's uh, luster any lo any longer. OK. That 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 golden cup, you know, has as a tarnishment to it. All right. So so let, let's uh, listen to this and then uh, we'll wrap up here in a little bit. Say that to you. Well, there are physical manifestations of decline of empire all around us, uh, and we are dying in the same way that empires throughout history have died. Uh, the assault against urban centers, that's actually a characteristic of dying empires, the uh, decrepit infrastructure, the abandonment of whole sectors of the population, the hollowing out of institutions that are unable to deal with the stresses uh, that are put on a country. Um, so the foundations uh, rot away. The facade remains. And I think the pandemic, uh, of course, is one of those stresses uh, we've lost or because of this for-profit healthcare system, because of the ineptitude of the Trump White House. But I think we have to go back for, uh, you know, decades. The uh, kind of assault on the, on the healthcare system is hardly uh, tied exclusively to the Republicans. Uh, an estimated 300,000 Americans uh, will be dead by December, possibly 400,000 by uh, January, uh, real unemployment, as you know better than most, is not at 10 or 11 percent, uh, but because of the way they fix the numbers, uh, upwards to um, uh, perhaps 20 percent. Uh, ever since 2008, uh, there's been assault on uh, the incomes of uh, American households. Like the average uh, middle class family's net worth is uh, uh, more than 40,000 below what it was before the crash of 2007, 2008. And then, of course, people of color suffer worse. Black families are down 40 percent. Latino families, 46%. And now we're watching as the unemployment benefits, uh, the uh, supplemental unemployment benefits are withdrawn, the moratoriums on uh, evictions and foreclosures, and uh, a real uh, uh, ruthless and uh, assault against uh, uh, American uh, families. I mean, before this pandemic, 4 million people were being evicted a year. We, before the pandemic, one in four tenant households spent half of its pre-tax income on rent. Before the pandemic, we had some 2,000 unhoused people sleeping in their cars, uh, sleeping uh, on, you know, on bridges, on city streets. Uh, 27 million people are expected now to lose their health insurance. And just to close, the, the capitalists have reacted. They know what's coming. Banks are not lending, uh, but like my bank, Wells Fargo, I know I shouldn't be a Wells Fargo, is uh, just a complete uh, moratorium on any kinds of loans and because they need to stockpile reserves of cash for the wave of bankruptcies and defaults on mortgages and student loans and uh, car loans and personal loans and credit card debt uh, that they know uh, is coming. So uh, we're headed for a social and political dislocation within weeks, if not months, uh, that we haven't seen since uh, the Great Depression. All of that are symptomatic of an empire in deep distress, unable to deal uh, with any kind of stress uh, that, that's put on a, a system that's been uh, essentially pillaged by a global capitalist elite that you have been one of the most prominent voices. Yeah. So, I mean, America, America cir circling the drain, man, you know, and it's, and it's only a matter of time and, and Lord will, you know, you have by Shimei Oshad, you know, uh, speed up the time, you know, to where we can uh, be delivered. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 18. It says, and in that day shall the deaf Hear the words of the book and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. 
The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. And that's what's happening, man. You know, it's, it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai that we're able to understand these prophecies that, that you know, through the spirit of the Lord, we, we are also increasing in faith. OK, and, and all of that are, are signs, you know, of America losing its power, you know, because America, you know, these quote unquote global elites spend billions and billions of dollars on advertising and marketing and celebrities and false prophets and uh uh you know uh, anyone in which they can to misguide you know uh, uh uh false teachers anyone to misguide and and steer our people away from knowing this truth billions of dollars they they have a bible destruction group they have you know, they'll, they'll send a nigga woman on you or whatever. You know, I mean, so many things, you know, the whole um, legal system is is really set up as a snare in a way to keep our people from being able to uh, or, or even the um, employment scenario. All of this is, is a form of slavery to, to keep your mind consumed with the day to day uh, oppression and not realize who you really are. But it's through Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal, like Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechah HaKadosh, um, that the Lord had a remnant, man. You know? And, and, it's, and it's by this remnant, by, by Yahweh Shai's blood, that we're able to understand these prophecies and these mysteries and, you know, these dark sins and these parables, you know, through the uh, apostles of Great Millstone. And as the scripture says, in Isaiah 29 and 20, it says, for the terrible one is brought to naught, man. He's brought to nothing. All right. It says, and the scorner is consumed. The adversary, you know, the, the, the spirit of, of wickedness that comes up against righteousness. All of that's going to be consumed, man. It says and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. So I got one more scripture here. And Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying for the elect. This was uh, this is Psalms 33, verse eight. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. You know, so regardless of whatever they do, man, you know, they're only going to fulfill prophecy. You know, the things in which Chris Hedges, you know, is stating uh, is, is obvious. You know, America is on its way out, you know, and, uh, you know, the, the kingdom of righteousness is on its way in. And Lord willing, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, deliver us, you know, from these uh, foresaid perils and evils, uh, because, uh, you know, we, we are servants of, of him and we're servants of his word and and. You know, uh, it's through being being the servants, you know, that Lord will, you know, we will uh, be delivered and, you know, be able to stand fast, you know, on the faith in which he has given us uh, to be uh, reunited and, you know, uh, to actually rule, you know, with him. And so, Lord willing, uh, this lesson was edifying for the elect. Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.